Think about how breaking news spreads in a modern media landscape. When a major event occurs, the original source doesn't call each news outlet individually to share the story. Instead, the news breaks on a wire service or press release and within seconds, it propagates everywhere. Traditional TV stations, radio stations, online publications, social media platforms, news app, and even your smart speaker. Every channel receives the same information simultaneously, then handles it according to its own style and audience. This is precisely how a message bus operates in software architecture. It's like having a town crier in a digital square announcing important events to anyone who cares. A message bus fundamentally changes the communication pattern from one to one to one to many. When one service publishes an event, multiple other services can subscribe to that event and react independently. Unlike message queues, which typically connect specific producers to specific consumers, a message bus is designed for broadcast-style communication that can reach any part of your system that's interested. The technology has matured dramatically over the past decade. Modern message buses like Apache Kafka can handle millions of events per second across distributed clusters. Google PopSub provides cloud-native event streaming with global reach. AWS EventBridge connects hundreds of different services and applications. NAT delivers ultra-low latency messaging for real-time systems. Redis Streams combines the familiar Redis ecosystem with persistent event streaming capabilities. These platforms have evolved into lightweight, distributed, and remarkably fault-tolerant systems that can power everything from small startups to global enterprises processing billions of events daily. Here's how they work. A producer, also called a publisher, emits an event to the message bus. This event represents something significant that has happened in your system. A user registered, an order was placed, a payment failed, inventory levels changed, or any other business events worth announcing. Multiple subscribers can listen to the bus and react to these events in completely different ways, each handling their own piece of the puzzle without knowing or caring what other services are doing. Imagine a monthly subscription payment fails in your system. In a traditional API-based approach, your payment service would need to individually notify every system affected creating a web of complex dependencies and potential failure points. With a payment bus, the payment service simply publishes a payment failed event and moves on. Your notification service immediately picks up this event and sends an email or a push notification to the customer, letting them know that their payment didn't go through. Your billing service sees the same event and automatically flags the invoice as unpaid, while logging the failure for accounting purposes. Your account status service might pick up the event and mark the account as pending payment. Meanwhile, your analytics service captures this event for business intelligence dashboard, helping you track payment failure rates and identifying patterns. All of these interactions happen simultaneously and independently. Message buses excel in scenarios where you want to embrace an event-driven architecture. This architectural pattern treats your entire system as a collection of services that react to business events rather than calling each other. It creates a more resilient, maintainable system that can evolve independently.